Hello and good morning or good night or whatever it is for you. Allegra Lowenstein here. We're going to do some body wisdom yoga because yoga is all about tapping in and connecting with yourself. But we're going to do one of my almost everyday poses, stretches. It's kind of in between. It's yoga for waking up your joints. And it's kind of a variation on cat-cow. Because that's what really, this is basically what I do in the morning. It's a bit similar to my cat-cow video if you've seen that. But basically, and again, you know my philosophy. You can literally do yoga anywhere, anytime, wearing anything with no props, no tools. Okay, so I totally am not a, like a tough knee person. I need something to pad. Even a yoga mat's not thick enough. So just get your pillows. It doesn't matter. So, um... This is actually, this is called tabletop, if you didn't know, right? Because uh, your back looks like a table. So ideally your neck's it's not down, it's not up, just flat. Continuation of that flat spine. Okay, it's an important basic that people don't always explain. So um, we'll just jump into a little bit of cat-cow because it's so good. So cow, I guess cows have like really bad posture, so there back us down in this way so we're going to push and we're kind of expanding that tummy and we're going to cat and you're going to feel it stretching between your shoulder blades stretching out your back okay so just a couple of those always enjoy it take your time remember to breathe i'm talking and sometimes i forget so this is actually like a ideally inward breath because you're kind of opened up and then you can tense up those core muscles. It helps you blow that air out. Okay, we already did a video on cat cow, so now we're gonna to get to the joint waking up and you're gonna be like, Allegra, you're just basically doing the same thing over and over, but I'm not, okay? So first we're gonna start with focusing on the knees. So I go one direction, so I go clockwise. I don't know, it might be opposite. And I my knee already popped, okay? And I kind of push, I personally, like I push down a little onto that left knee on my clockwise as I go like out onto that knee, right? So this knee, as I go out onto it, I kind of like, you can almost lift the other knee up if you want to. I usually just do that three, four times, okay? And then the other way, and I kid you not, always within three turns, my, my knees will pop. So that's why I do it in the morning. It already popped, popped the first time. Okay, so, and your feet can be like, Toes bent, toes flat, it doesn't matter, whatever's comfortable. So now I'm going counterclockwise and I'm pushing onto that knee, right? So I can almost like lift this leg up as I go. You don't have to, that makes it complicated, but I'm just explaining how I'm kind of li barely lightly lifting. You can just like lift up, I'll do it on this one again, on your toes a little as you go. So this is the other way. So you can't see this foot, but you can like push up on that toe as you go. Okay. So that one was kind of focused on my knees. So this is all basically a tabletop pose, right? Tabletop. And my head posture is bad because I'm looking at you. So then the next round that I do, I kind of focus on my hips. So I keep my weight pretty even between my t knees, but I push a little more forward in the front, right? So it's like opening up more, going back a little further. And the same thing, I just do three, four, clockwise but I'm pushing those hips open and then closing them up and going all the way back over my feet a little more than normal okay so three four the other way my knees do not pop when I'm focused on my hips my knees only pop when I'm focused on my knees okay okay so then it's like again it looks kind of the same but now I'm focused on my shoulders so again that perfect tabletop is always the best way to start toes up down however you prefer and this time I'm just, it's like, kind of focus. You know, that focus changes everything. So when teachers say weird things like, breathe into it or feel the energy into that body part, they're really just meaning, like, focus on that body part. Stretch it a little more, right? So I'm not pushing forward like I did with my hips. I'm not lifting up and putting weight on this knee like I did with my knees. There's not really anything I do for my shoulders because I don't know. I guess I'm just, yeah, actually, that's not true. I'm like kind of feeling my shoulders. I'm stretching my shoulders a little bit more. Okay, so 
Again, I mean, I do encourage balance, so like three, four, either direction. And then, this is one of my favorite parts, push this down a little onto my elbows. It feels so good. Even though there's kind of elbow focused, a lot of times this actually ends up making my shoulders pop. And the shoulder one doesn't. So, you know, whatever, our bodies are weird. They do weird things. They're connected. So just a few in either direction feels so good. And I kid you not, um, all these yoga moves is like designed to lubricate your joints, right? So just by the simple fact of moving them, and I've talked about this before, how all of our joints move, right? So we just did this, basically. So we move those shoulders, and then we did it again, but it changes it by bending your elbows. And just the fact, and you can do this, let's just throw this in too. I'm going to readjust my feet. Sit just like a... Boom. I'm going to do diamond. That's one of my favorites. You can do crisscross. You can do legs straight, whatever you want. Okay, so just sit comfortable. I have just a tiny bit of a pillow underneath my rear. Um, so we're just going to throw in some arm shoulders because, again, this is about waking up your joints. And the point being is that all of these joints, they move in so many directions. Okay, maybe not the elbow. The elbow only kind of does one thing. But can rotate and the rotation's coming from your shoulder but you feel it you know I feel it in my elbow as I twist this so just kind of the idea that we can um, move all these joints in all these directions and wake them up right so this takes me what this is like a six minute video and I've been talking a lot too so I literally do three minutes of yoga in the morning and you pretty much just saw what I do click my cat cow video next and you'll pretty much see the rest of it because I do a few more cat cows and like I do this sideway cat cow thing so check that out you will basically see my morning routine when I'm in a good mode every morning and when I'm in a bad mode like maybe once a week but that's life so don't feel bad we're all striving we all have our struggles so uh, check out my books at AllegraLowenstein.com click another video to continue your practice if you're done lay back and enjoy some Pure relaxation in corpse pose, which is basically just lay on your back and be still.